Good evening and welcome to South Carolina State University for the 2021 induction ceremony of the Thomas E. Miller Society. I'm Hank Allen, the 2009 inductee of the Miller Society and a member of the class of 1978. I have the honor of serving as your host for this evening. The year 2020 has been a year like no other. A global pandemic has forced us to rethink how we do so many things. Most importantly, COVID-19 has had an impact on our university. But with that bulldog tenacity, we are still here and the university has opened its doors for business. Today, we bring you this induction ceremony virtually to ensure the safety of all of its participants and of our inductees. So without further delay, please join me in greeting our 12th president of SC State University, James E. Clark, as we welcome you to this joyful occasion. He will be followed with the invocation and the occasion by Dr. Gwyneth Nelson, Associate Vice President of Institutional Advancement. Thomas Ezekiel Miller was a prominent leader in the struggle for civil rights in the American South during and after Reconstruction. He was an educator, a lawyer, a politician. He served as a school commissioner, a state legislator, a U.S. representative, and in 1896 he became the first president of the Colored Normal Industrial Agricultural and Mechanical College of South Carolina, established here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Miller laid the foundation for what would become South Carolina State University. 125 years later, SC State University is replete with examples of how this institution has prepared young men and women for leadership positions in society. Today, I welcome you to congratulate our new inductees for honoring the excellence that has been bestowed upon this very fine institution. Gracious God, you are the great and awesome God, worthy of our praises. We acknowledge you as the creator of heaven and earth. In you, we move, live, and have our being. Oh God, you are all powerful, all loving, who knows and cares for each one of us. Lord, we give you thanks for our visionary ancestors for ensuring 125 years of knowledge, duty, and honor here at South Carolina State University. Thank you for all the magnificent things that we see around us, including the beauty that saturates this campus. Help us, God, to use the blessings of creation to bring to our minds the evidence of your presence, your power, your protection, and your peace. May all who walk these hallowed grounds give you praise. We pray, O oh God, for the wisdom and insight for President Clark, the faculty, staff, administrators, board of trustees, and our precious students. We pray for strength for all those who work here at our beloved SCSU to make this community and the world a better place. Now, Lord, we give you thanks for these men and women being inducted into the prestigious Miller Society. Thank you for their gracious and generous contributions, for the diligence to give themselves 
and their resources to ensure generations unborn will have access to higher education. Lord, we pray that we will be inspired to do likewise and to use their examples. We pray now that you will continue to bless them and all of us. Now, Lord, teach us to be generous as you are generous. Teach us to love as you love. This is our prayer in the resurrected name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. The Miller Society Induction Ceremony provides a public dedication to the principles of philanthropy and reaffirmation of the legacy and future of SC State. Qualifying gifts for membership are as follows. Individuals or couples must have contributed $100,000 or more in cumulative giving to SC State. Associations, businesses, organizations are required to invest $500,000 for membership. Corporations and foundations are eligible for membership with gift donations of $1 million. The threshold must be met by December 31st of the year prior to the induction ceremony and totals include employer matching gifts. Qualifying gifts include confirmed commitments of cash, securities, real estate, or gifts in kind. Members of the society receive VIP invitations to special events and are invited to quarterly meetings with the president. Tonight, we give thanks to our inductees for the support that comes from the cumulative philanthropy which ensures that SC State University continues to provide educational opportunity to deserving and qualified students. SC State University alumni can be found among the highest ranks of every profession, from presidents of colleges and universities to generals in, in the United States Armed Services, as well as business leaders, local and national dignitaries, great legal minds, healthcare professionals, and faith leaders of all denominations. SC State University has been fortunate to have alumni who have dedicated their lives and resources to supporting our university. We would like to take this opportunity to publicly recognize those donors who have made significant contributions to the university over the years and are well on their way to becoming members of the Thomas E. Miller Society. A small yet mighty group of 71 hopeful donors have contributed more than $3,050,000 to the university and we are truly thankful for their support. We recognize donors on three levels. Silver level are those who have contributed between $25,000 to $49,000. Gold level are for those who have contributed $50,000 to $74,000. And platinum level are for those who have contributed $75,000 to $99,000. Now, President Clark and Dr. Nelson will recognize these special donors. The following are the silver level names. Those who have given 25,000 to 49,999. Donald W. Beatty, Maldell S. Bean, Charles H. Bowens, Steve and Lawana Bazanowski, Lloyd J. Brown Jr., Howard and Loretta S. Bush, Barbara Butler, Gilbert and Thea Cleckley, Hope Doe, Frank E. Drayton, Samuel and Priscilla Themster, James A. Franklin Sr., John and Catherine Frederick, 
Kevin L. Fullington, Sydney and Jacqueline Fulton, James Harley, Gregory and Francis Harley, Dwayne A. Harper, Alvin T. Heatley, Clemmy F. Hill, Nathaniel and Deborah Howard, Andrew F. Jackson, Carl Johnson Jr., Carl E. Jones, Douglas M. Jones, Thomas and Martha Kennerly, Kenneth D. Lewis, Rosa Logan Lee, James H. and Cassandra D. Mulligan, Freddie W. O'Brien, Willie B. and Arminta P. Owens, Willie L. Pearson, Charles E. Pimble, Edward B. and Estelle B. Polite, Gloria D. Piles, Harriet A. Rowland, Mary L. Smalls, Jonathan Speed, Clifford and Rosalind Stanley, Julius A. Stevens, Lemuel C. and Daisy D. Stevens, Steve Swanson, Barbara M. Waymer, Robert and Detroit Weeks, John and Annie Williams, Ernestine Wright. These are the individuals at the gold level. That is $50,000 to $74,999. Hubert Danley, Leroy and Christine Davis, Robert I. and Rosa D. Evans, John J. Funny, Donald M. Harrison, William C. Hine, Jerry A. Hubbard, Andrew and Abigail H. Eugeni, Ulysses S. and Dorothy D. Jarvis, Julius and Linda Page, Huey B. Pasley, Elijah Rogers, Faye F. Smith, Curtis and Desma Stevens, Walter L. and Bernice Tobin, Charles S. Way, Jr. These are the individuals at the platinum level. That is $75,000 to $99,000. Robert D. Ayers, Helen A. Corbett, Brandenburg, Barbara K. Brewer, Clinton and Elaine Fields, James and Portia Gilliard, Charles and Barbara Gadsden, Willa Hightower, Francis E. Nelson Hooks, Maurice B. Mosley. Thank you again, Miller Society hopefuls, for the important role you play in supporting the university and for your willingness to lead by example. Each of you will receive a certificate recognizing your contributions. Thank you, President Clark and Dr. Nelson, for recognizing the 71 hopeful donors. And I look forward to each of them joining the Miller Society very soon. In fact, sooner rather than later. I know many believe that the Miller Society is a big secret. It may seem like it, but it's not really a secret. In fact, it's a very special society, and we want and need more members. As stated earlier tonight, membership in this prestigious society requires a minimum gift of $100,000 from individuals and our couples. Some members met that requirement with one gift. Some met that requirement with two or three gifts. And for some, it was many gifts over many years. 
In addition to the monetary requirement, becoming a member of this society requires passion. It requires trust. And most of all, a belief in SC State University. The Miller Society was established in 2006 to recognize cumulative philanthropy from individuals and other constituents. Our inaugural class of six has now expanded to a total of 33 members. This new class of inductees will now join a select group of individuals and couples who have contributed nearly $7.5 million to the university, which is truly amazing. Tonight, we are delighted to induct four outstanding members. Our first 2021 inductee is our very own president, James E. Clark. He's a native of Quincy, Florida. His father, Edmund, had a second grade education and his mother, Annie, had a sixth grade education. But they wanted more for Clark and his siblings. Even with his parents' limited education and his education at some of the top universities in the world, he refers to his parents as two of the smartest people I know. They just didn't get the educational opportunity that I got. Clearly, they instilled in him the value of a good education, hard work, and discipline. An accomplished visionary with a stellar career in the early developmental years of the information technology field, President Clark brought to the presidency a fact-based, data-driven, results-oriented, business approach that launches and drives positive outcomes. President Clark holds a Bachelor of Science degree and a Master's degree from MIT, and also an honorary doctorate degree in engineering and technology from SC State University. When he's not leading SC State to new heights, he's reaching for the sky by building and flying his own personal aircraft. From whom much is given, much is expected in return. I come from very humble beginnings, grown up on a farm, plowing a mule for my dad, priming tobacco on my family's farm, as well as on the man's much, much larger farm. Yet I was uh, blessed with the opportunity to receive an excellent education, guided by parents, and to some extent older siblings who had not had such an opportunity. Now, throughout the years, I've been deeply affiliated with all oh, five different institutions of higher education and have um, given lectures at or uh, worked at uh, a couple of others, including uh, a couple of HBCUs and done service at, on boards. But it's been to SC State that I've had the opportunity to give the most of my time, talent, and treasure. And uh, the reason for this, for me, is that SC State best represents where, where I'm from, who I am, and who my family is. Uh, but for the existence of institutions like SC State, and SC State in particular, uh, many a student from the small farms and families around this state, just like mine, uh, would have been left behind. Would not have had a chance for an education. Just like I witnessed with my older siblings many years ago. So my giving represents an opportunity for me to, quote, move the ball a little further down the road, or should I say down a tobacco road, uh, for generations current as well as those yet to come. Those that look like me, that were all like me, poor families, but just needed an opportunity, a little help in hand, especially on the financial side. So in closing, I'd like to encourage each and every one of you uh, who hears this message to reach out to someone, including yourself if you haven't, and encourage them, if but, if but for nothing but to give a dollar, quote unquote, to SC State each year. You can do that one a year, one per month, one a week or whatever. 
or do one every day if you so choose. Such that SC State provides an opportunity that others, like all of us that are listening here, will have a chance for to flourish in tomorrow's economy. Thank you. Our second 2021 inductees are Trustee Douglas Gant and his wife, Mrs. Deborah Gant. They're natives of Lexington County, South Carolina, where they attended public schools in the Batesburg Leesville community. Trustee Gant earned a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from SC State University and completed his master's degree in education from Troy University. Although Mrs. Gant graduated from the University of South Carolina, she is an ardent supporter of SC State University. The Gants are members of the Greater Augusta Alumni Chapter, life members of the South Carolina State National Alumni Association, and executive level members of the State Club. Mrs. Gant received a bachelor's degree in business administration from USC and has been employed by Savannah River Nuclear Solutions, where she has enjoyed a more than 30-year career. Trustee Gant has held several positions during his career. Currently, he's employed by Pfizer Pharmaceuticals, where he's had a successful career for the past 18 years. The importance for me in giving to the Miller Society, which I did not give with that intent. Actually, I'm just very thankful and grateful for what South Carolina State has done for me and for well as my family. I should be thanking those individuals who, the lawyers, sons and daughters who came before me, who had the vision, the thought process of ensuring that they built a place like South Carolina State for so many of us to be able to come and call home be able to cultivate our minds, you know, share experiences with other individuals who had the same uh, opportunities as we did, whether they were great or minimal. It, it was just an opportunity for me uh, to ensure that I gave back because so much was given to me as a, a reason for attending at this institution. Uh, for me, more importantly, I think that I had the opportunity to live in Mays Hall which one of our greatest alumnus who ever attended this university uh, was named after. And one of the things that impacted me every single day that I walked back to that dormitory was to be able to look at that plaque on the wall. And the words on that wall simply said, he who starts out behind in the race will only have to run faster to catch up with the others. I read that every single day. By the time I became a senior, uh, I translate that into thinking that, you know, hey, all I had to do was the belief in myself, you know, as long as it was greater than the disbelief of all the other people around me, then surely I could do nothing but be successful. And I wanted every kid who had an opportunity to attend South Carolina State to have that very same experience. So that's why I gave. What I would say to anyone who's probably watching this event tonight, I would say to them, that you individually probably can't give South Carolina State everything that it needs. But all of us collectively can give South Carolina State all the love that we have. And one of the things I would share with that is we should, in my opinion, have that attitude just like Catholics. When they name their institution, they, they say Notre Dame. When Mormons talk about their institution, they say Brigham Young, Young University. There's nothing wrong with us when we say or talk about our institution with love that is South Carolina State University. So with that, I would say to everyone, anyone who's watching this event tonight, giving to provide that same opportunity for someone else, like our lawyers, sons and daughters did for us, is reason enough to give. Our third inductee is Mrs. Louise Bonner Roseboro a native of Columbia, South Carolina, and a longtime resident of Rock Hill, South Carolina. She attended public schools in her hometown and is a graduate of Booker T. Washington High School. After earning her diploma, Mrs. Rollsboro attended and graduated from SC State College in 1948 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in education. She, along with four other SC State classmates, composed the first cohort of students to become certified as school librarians. 
Always seeking to gain initial, additional expertise, she completed a Master of Library Science at North Carolina Central University. She enjoyed a long career as an educator and retired from the public school system after 40 years of dedicated service. Mrs. Rollsboro has dedicated herself to supporting community organizations as well as the advancement of educational opportunities for students. She continues to participate in numerous organizations, including the local chapter of the South Carolina Education Association and National Association of Retired Teachers. Mrs. Rollsboro was married for more than 50 years to the late Walter Rollsboro, Jr., and is the mother of three daughters. Two of her daughters and one granddaughter are alumnae of SC State University. She takes great pride in honoring and supporting her church, family, community, and SC State. Fellow Bulldog alumni, friends, faculty, and President Clark, my name is Louise Bonner Roseboro. I am a member of the class of 1948. Thanks for the great respect given to me today. God continues to provide for me. He meets my daily needs and allows me to pass along my gifts to others. I entered South Carolina State in 1944 with Miller F. Whitaker as college's president. He was the youngest chief executive to become president and also attended school at state. Some other important figures were the deans. Several of these leaders have their names associated with familiar landmarks on the campus. A few of the deans at the college were Dean Nix, Dean K.W. Green, Dean Gardner, and Dean Jewell. Many of the deans and students worked with citizens in the community with hands-on tasks such as brick masonry, dairy farming, and various home economic activities, including canning food. Sports and athletics were an important part of campus life. Girls and boys basketball, football, and other activities were popular. During my stay at State College, meals were served family style in a dining room. Six students sat at the table together. We were required to attend morning Sunday school classes and vesper service on Sunday evening. There were also room checks several times per week to make sure your bed was made and rooms were in order. Over the years since graduating from college, it has been a privilege and a joy to remain a lawyer daughter, offering support and dedication to my beloved South Carolina State. South Carolina State College provided caring, family-like atmosphere for me and my classmates. State College was our home away from home. Thank you, and I appreciate my recognition as a 2021 Miller Society inductee. Our fourth and final inductee is Dr. Leroy Zeke Zimmerman. He was born in Cameron, South Carolina, and graduated from South Carolina State College in 1966 with a Bachelor of Science degree in mathematics. In 1974, he received a master's degree in industrial engineering from Georgia Institute of Technology. Dr. Zimmerman received the education specialist degree and a doctorate degree in education, both from George Washington University. In 1966, 
he entered active duty with the United States Army as a second lieutenant. He served in the military for 27 years and retired in 1993 at the rank of colonel. Beginning in 1993, Dr. Zimmerman taught at Dubai High School, Newport News, Virginia, for one and a half years before becoming an assistant principal at Woodside High School in the same city. Dr. Zimmerman remained in that position until 2003 when he moved to Savannah and became the assistant principal at Herschel V. Jenkins High School. He retired from Savannah Chapman County Public Schools in 2014. Dr. Zimmerman and his wife, Alice, have been married 51 years and have one biological child, Rodney, who is a graduate of UCLA and a former professional basketball player. They have one grandchild, Jada. Good morning. I am Leroy Zimmerman, class of 1966. President Clark, Mr. Allen, my thanks to you and all the persons responsible for putting this event together. As I reflect, I am eternally grateful to South Carolina State for the preparation and experience it provided during my years here as a student. South Carolina State provided a solid environment for my academic, social, physical, and spiritual development. For that, I am indebted. Today is not about induction into the Miller Society. Today is about making a down payment on a debt I owe to South Carolina State University. Each year since 2011, over 2,000 young people have graduated high school in South Carolina who should be matriculating at South Carolina State, but are not in school. We owe it to those young people and South Carolina State to support our university in such a way that it would allow those young people to attend. Education is a major variable for change in our society. Let us all do all we can to promote this change by giving all we can to South Carolina State. My one regret is that my giving cannot be $100 million. But I thank God for what I am blessed to give. Thank you. President Clark will now induct our 2021 Miller Society class. Good evening, everyone. To my fellow 2021 inductees, thank you for your commitment to the legacy of South Carolina State University. I present you with the Thomas E. Miller Society membership pen. The pen is oval in shape and bears the image of the Palmetto, along with the South Carolina State Arch and the founding date of South Carolina State University in gold on a field of garnet, surrounded by the words in blue, South Carolina State University, Thomas E. Miller Society. May you wear this pen proudly displaying it to all who would see it and see your support for SC State. Again, thank you. Congratulations, President James E. Clark, Trustee and Mrs. Douglas Gant, Mrs. Louise Bonner Roseboro, and Dr. Leroy Zimmerman. At this time, Mr. John Funny, President of the SC State University National Alumni Association, will join us via video for his presentation. Good evening. On behalf of the South Carolina State University National Alumni Association, we would like to congratulate each alum Miller Society inductee for this significant honor. Thanks to our gracious donors, we can help produce some of our nation's finest talents in every walk of life. Your dedication and contributions over the years have provided and will continue to provide critical support to our alma mater's mission and its ability to remain a vital resource for higher education in the state of South Carolina. We are continuing to build the future alumni base of South Carolina State University 
which we know will go on to make a tremendous impact years to come. We encourage other alumni and donors to match your efforts in becoming future members of this prestigious Thomas E. Miller Society. Once again, congratulations and good evening. We hope that you have enjoyed this uplifting evening from the comfort of your homes or wherever you might be. We thank all of you for joining us tonight as we celebrate those who have given so much to SC State. To the future Miller Society inductees, we thank you for your support. To the 2021 inductees, we thank you for letting us shine the spotlight on your generosity. We hope you will encourage others to join you as your example will inspire many. Please know that we need your continuous support. When you support the university, you support the students, which is where it matters most. Before we go, I would love to thank the Miller Society Committee of Dr. Leola Adams, Colonel David Doctor, Ms. Patricia Lott, and Dr. Odell Stuckey for all of their input. Thanks also to the Division of Institutional Advancement and External Affairs and our production company, Pressmark, for their hard work in making this virtual occasion possible. Your support and willingness to help are greatly appreciated. Thank you again for spending the evening with us. Please stay safe out there and have a great evening, everyone.